Cincinnati Police Sergeant Eric Franz says it all happened in the 200 block of Pete Street in Over the Rhine. They knew he was in the building. They'd, they'd seen him earlier. So uh, they, they spent about two or three hours in the building looking for him and couldn't find him. Police were looking for Sasha Walton, a man with multiple felony warrants for his arrest. When the sergeant flew a drone six stories up. Somebody on the ground was talking to him on the cell phone and said, look behind you. And he turned around and saw the drone giving us that really nice look that he gave us. The jig was up. It's got up, lit a cigarette up, gave us the one second sign. One last cigarette before being taken to the Hamilton County Jail. Sergeant Franz says technology has taken off from when he first started with the department 30 years ago. We used to have to climb into attics. We used to have to climb on top roofs. Now we don't have to do that anymore. We've got the technology where we don't have to put anybody in harm's way. He says the drones are being used for traffic and SWAT incidents as well as being used to monitor large crowds at area festivals. He wants the focus to be clear. Police aren't using these to violate privacy rights or look in people's windows. We're not looking for people jaywalking. We're not looking for people doing running red lights. This is, we're using this technology to find violent criminals and apprehend them. When I put my taxpayer hat on and my public safety hat on, it makes perfect sense. And, you know, obviously today they had a victory with that. Cybersecurity expert Dave Hatter says he hopes police departments across the country will be transparent with video collected from drones, likening them to a much less expensive helicopter. I think it is the future. I think we'll, we'll see more of this as the costs of these devices go down and the capabilities go up. Sergeant Franz says CBD will get another few drones in the following weeks, opening the box to a new generation of law enforcement. In my lifetime, we'll see drone shot spotter go off and we'll see a drone fly. It'll leave a little garage and it'll fly over to where the shots were fired and, and start recording everything and ev ev anything that on the ground. Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.